Have you heard about the latest 2024 blood pressure guidelines? The new 2024 European Society of Cardiology guidelines redefines blood pressure reading, and 120 over 80 is no longer the normal blood pressure. The new guidelines are meant to detect blood pressure and cardiovascular disease sooner. Many of the public has good reason to believe that this all has to do with big pharmaceuticals and putting people on medication. But the powers that be claimed, that's not what this is about. They say when you look at the numbers, not many more people will actually be advised to take medications than before. Let's now dive into the latest updates and see how they could make a difference for you. One of the major changes is that they've simplified the classification of blood pressure categories. And these updated categories have important implications for clinical practice. In the past guidelines of 2018, there were seven categories defining hypertension. Now the revised category has three. The first one is non-elevated blood pressure, and that is a systolic blood pressure of below 120 over 70 millimeter of mercury diastolic. The second category is the elevated blood pressure, and that would be a blood pressure of 120 to 139 systolic and 70 to 89 millimeters of mercury diastolic. This is the category between normal or non-elevated blood pressure and high blood pressure. This category helps to identify individuals who may not have full hypertension yet, but are at an increased risk for cardiovascular disease, including vascular dementia, heart attack, and stroke. The new guidelines recommend that patients who are in this category need to be treated with lifestyle modifications first. And if the blood pressure is still not at target, which is considered 120 to 129 or 70 to 79, Pharmacological therapy should be started if blood pressure is 130 to 139 in this category of elevated blood pressure. The definition of hypertension remains unchanged at a systolic pressure of 140 millimeters of mercury or higher and a diastolic pressure of 90 millimeters of mercury or higher. The 2024 European Society of Cardiology, ESC, guidelines for managing high blood pressure emphasize a patient-centered approach encouraging individualized care and focusing on overall cardiovascular health. One of the key takeaways is the updated blood pressure targets. For most adults, the goal is to lower systolic blood pressure, SBP, to below 130 millimeters of mercury if it's well tolerated by the patient. The guidelines highlight that elderly patients up to 85 years old who are functional and not frail should receive the same treatment as younger individuals. However, suppose an older patient shows signs of orthostatic hypotension or other symptoms related to low blood pressure. In that case, the recommendation is to treat them with the goal of lowering blood pressure as much as safely possible, following the as low as reasonably achievable principle, ALARA. Lifestyle changes are heavily emphasized in the guidelines. The ESC recommends reducing salt intake to less than five grams per day, which is roughly the equivalent of a teaspoon. A Mediterranean-style diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats like olive oil, is encouraged for overall heart health. Regular physical activity is another cornerstone of the recommendations, with adults advised to engage in at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise each week. Weight management is critical for those who are overweight or obese, with even a 5 to 10% weight reduction offering significant health benefits. Additionally, cutting back on alcohol and quitting smoking are strongly advised. Accurate diagnosis and monitoring of high blood pressure are crucial to effective management. The ESC encourages the use of ambulatory or home blood pressure monitoring to get a more accurate picture of a patient's blood pressure throughout the day. It's also recommended to check blood pressure in both arms during the initial visit and use the arm with higher readings in future checks. Overall, the 2024 ESC guidelines prioritize a personalized approach to treatment, highlighting the importance of lifestyle modifications, tailored medication plans, and collaboration between patients and healthcare providers to achieve optimal blood pressure control. Give us your thoughts on this updated blood pressure guidelines and subscribe to our channel for more blood pressure related content.